All right, guys, so today's project, um, I've got a 2003 Toyota Sequoia. Um, been a great vehicle, but my driver's seat over the past probably year and a half, maybe two years, um, the, one of the stitches is just starting to come unraveled. So I'm gonna try to uh, repair that. Um, I've got its leather, leather seats, and I've got this curved needle. Um, I'm hoping this curve will be tight enough. And then I've also got some upholstery thread and it's just heavy weight and so I'm going to show you how I do this but you can see here my stitch that's come out um, I do have a few little tails of thread on either side um, I may actually pull a couple of those stitches out just so I have a longer tail because I will eventually uh, want to tie that off um, man this stuff is thick this might be real thick and it's contracted so I don't know how well this is gonna work. Um, I may need to do something to soften this leather. It's, it's pretty pretty stiff, um, but we'll give it a shot. So I'm gonna pull a few of these last stitches out. Now, obviously this was sewn using a machine. So I've got you know some pretty good length tails here. Um, this one is kind of curvy, but it's probably three inches long. This one's about four inches long. Um, and so I'm gonna roll out some of my upholstery thread. And just to make sure I have enough to work with, uh, I'm doing about four times the length of my stitch. Just to make sure I don't run out. I'm gonna thread my needle and just leave probably a six or eight inch tail. Um, and then starting from the stitch that I have, I'm going to go in through the hole straight across from it and come out the very next hole. So, like I mentioned earlier, this leather is pretty stiff, so I'm using some needle nose pliers, but I want to try to just find where the tip of the needle will come out. And leather's pretty tough, so you, you don't want to try to poke your own holes. You want to try to reuse the stitch holes that were there. I said I wasn't sure if this needle was gonna have enough curvature to it because these stitch holes are probably um, three to four millimeter spacing and it's kind of tight so now I've gone in the first hole out the next hole now I'm gonna go straight across and then do the same thing go in that hole out the next hole straight across and just work my way down And before you pull the needle through, always make sure your thread is still through the eye of the needle. And then you want to make sure you're not trapping anything, not trapping any, any strands under. So I'm just going to kind of leave things loose as I go, and I'm going to work my way all the way down and then just try to tighten it all at the same time. And I'll tie off my ends at the very, very end. All right, I'm about halfway done now. Once you kind of find a rhythm, it, it goes fairly fast. So I'm just gonna show you a couple stitches, just real-time speed. Once you get a feel of where you need to be gripping the needle and how far you need to be inserting the needle, it doesn't take too long. And so you can see I've just got this cross back and forth stitch. Um, once I get to the end, I'm gonna cinch it all up and it'll pull everything tight. Uh, you know, I wanna compress the foam. And then this stitch is actually, was originally folded kind of under um, you can see down here, it's, it's kind of folded under. So I need to try to force that fold back in there as well. And so you can see, 
I used four times the length of string, but I do have some pretty large stitches here. Um, they will be closed up, but this is all that I've got left to work in this next section. So um, if you got a real long section and a, and a pretty wide split, uh, it may be worthwhile to use five times the length of whatever your stitch is gonna be. And you can see this, the end of the thread is just about ready to pull out of this needle. So I wanna make sure that I've got that captured in there just so I can get it through the stitch. So I'm getting kind of short on thread over here. So I'm gonna start working some of this tail end all the way through. Um, I actually just use my needle for this. All right, I'm getting closer to the end, uh, but I'm kind of starting to run out of thread. And so I'm gonna start kind of closing this stitch up a little bit. And so I need to make sure that, that this one end or this one side kind of starts to get folded under. The problem about closing it up too much is sometimes you need that extra room, uh, wiggle room, just to get the needle going through the holes. Okay, so I came out of this stitch and here I've got a little tail. So I'm actually just gonna tie these um, after I get everything tight, I'm gonna tie these and then maybe I'll go ahead and tie these here and then work my seam closed down to this end. Okay, so I've got this side tied off. Um, I'm going to start tightening. Starting from this end down here, I'm gonna flip my little leather piece under here and see if I can start cinching it up. So I made a mistake, I shouldn't have tied this here. I should have started tightening from the middle and gone each direction. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to untie this. I'm gonna try. All right, so I was able to untie that. So I can kind of start tightening from the middle if possible. See, like that, it just broke. So because it broke right here where I first started, um, I just pulled out five or six stitches. And I think if I can get it tightened up all the way, I'll splice in another piece and just stitch this over here. Where there's not quite as much tension on it. Well, it's getting there. You can definitely tell there was some shrinkage in here based on the curvature of this seam. Looking at the passenger seat over there, um, it's pretty much straight across. So definitely been a little shrinkage here. So I might have enough of a tail here to be able to do this short section. Let's see if I can get and close this just a little bit more. And I've been using the the uh, kind of the, the soft side, the eye side of the needle, just so I don't snag and fray the thread with the point. All right, so there we go. Uh, I made it to my last hole that's straight across from my little um, existing tail. And so now I just need to cinch this up. Of course, I need to fold my flap under. Try to not break the thread again. So there we go. It doesn't look the greatest, but the hole sealed up. And maybe I'll get some leather conditioner on here. And maybe this will soften up and stretch back out or something. So I'm gonna tie my tails together here. And then I'm actually going to, before I turn these off, thread that back through there. I'm gonna feed it underneath and come out, I'm trying to come out a couple stitches. That's just one. There we go. Throw that knot back underneath. And I'll get some little scissors to trim that off. And there we go. And we'll see how well that holds up. 